the all-time winning score in BYU basketball and my homie on Countdown to Tip-Off now joins us on the show. He is Tyler Hawes as we look ahead to Gonzaga and San Francisco on the road. Tyler, what's up, man? How are we doing, guys? Thanks for having me on. We're doing great. Uh, you know, we talked some football, 2021, where it ranks all time. I know you have this team seventh. No, I'm just kidding. Let's talk hoops. Um, at Gonzaga, at San Francisco. So how do, you, how do you approach the Gonzaga games? Because you've been up there and you've won. And certainly this team is capable of winning. They'd be more capable if they had Richard Harward and or Gavin Baxter in terms of matching up with Drew Timmy and Chet Holmgren, a.k.a. McLovin. <laughs> It doesn't feel like it's a great matchup, but certainly what BYU showed in the WCC title game, granted with 7-3 Matt Harms, was that BYU can hang, didn't finish, but at least could hang. Let's. What, what do you think? I think they absolutely can hang. You know, I think the one silver lining in this season uh, so far has been their defense. The one strength, I, I'd say, the, the entire year has been just how well they played defensively, how well they've defended the three point line. Uh, and despite the absence of Harward and, uh, and Baxter, I mean, they've been able to do some really, really good things and uh, just overcome those challenges. And so uh, they definitely uh, have a chance to go up there and compete. Um, you know, coach Pope knows what it takes to, to go up and, and win up there. And so uh, they're, you can't count them out, you know, and having said all that, BYU is going to have to play really well offensively. you got to put together a complete game to be able to beat them up there. And so, you know, in my opinion, I think they need to at least score 80 and they've only done that. I think three times this season. And so they're going to have to shoot the ball well and defend. And I mean, the Zags just bring back an unbelievable roster. They're so, so deep in every position. You know, I think they had five or six guys in double figures last game, scored 117 points. Uh, And so, you know, they're going to put their best foot forward. They definitely want to beat BYU. And uh, so it'll be a fun game, fun challenge. I agree with everything you just said. Their defense has been really, really good. And that's, that's fun to be able to see because it keeps them in. I, I agree with you in terms of the offense. The offense is going to have to score at a higher clip. I also think, Tyler, you know, one thing we've seen that this team struggle with is turnovers, and especially against mm-hmm. a team uh, that likes to get out in transition. I, I, BYU's got to cut down on the turnovers. I think if they can do that, I, I think they, they give themselves a, a really good shot here despite being an, an 11-point underdog. For sure. With every Gonzaga team, the margin of error is so little and they just make you pay for every turnover, every little mistake that you make, they, they make you pay. And so, um, yeah, they're going to have to take care of the ball. They're going to have to get back in transition. They're going to have to do the little things and put together a complete game to be able to, to compete. I mean, uh, I mean, they're just so talented offensively. This Chet Holmgren, I mean, he is he is about as talented as I've I've seen. So long, so athletic, can shoot, can handle the ball, and then you got Drew Timmy inside, just brings all this experience and toughness. And uh, they play. I, I was talking to someone the other day. They play so loose, but so confident at the same time. And Mark Few just uh, does such a good job with his guys and and finding that balance of like focus but playing loose. And uh, they're. They're a fun team to to watch and and play against. Well, and I also think avoid – because Gonzaga, regardless of who they play, their goal – when the game tips off, their goal is to be up by 20 in like three or four minutes. Like they want to blow teams out early and crush their confidence. I think not just a strong start, I mean, because that's that's obvious. I think if BYU can weather that early storm, I think that goes a long way for how the rest of the game plays out. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, they they definitely come out swinging and and want to show you that they're the number two team in the country. They come they come out with a lot of intimidation, and you know especially up there, uh, it it gets loud, it gets crazy, uh, and and so th- that's definitely part of their scheme. But you know BYU is ready for this challenge. They've been on the road in some tough environments uh, this year and and done really well so far, and so you know I think they're they're ready for that. And, you know, the, the big question mark in my mind is can, can they score, right? They're going to weather that storm defensively, 
but can they get going offensively? And, you know, can they put together a game where they hit, you know, 10, 12, 13 threes and they get good contributions out of, out of Trevin Nell and Seneca Knight and Gideon George, right? Those, those guys to me are, are the X factors. I think Alex Barcella is going to do what he does. Um, and, and Tijon Lucas is going to be in double figures. I think we can expect those things out of those guys, but it's all the contributing guys. How is Foose going to handle um, the physicality inside of, uh, of Timmy and, and, um, and their other bigs, right? How, 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 how is he going to, um, you know, get, get in the flow offensively uh, against those guys. And so uh, I'm, I'm really curious to see how this team does. I, I'm, th this team is more than capable. I mean, they ha they're very talented and uh, this BYU group is capable of putting a night together. And, and we've seen it before uh, BYU, the stars have aligned uh, on Gonzaga a few times and, and those are the fun nights. Yeah, a strong start would be awesome. In one of the wins when Gonzaga was number one, BYU was down 18-2. to two. So it doesn't have to happen, but it's not ideal going down 16 yeah. in the kennel. Okay, let's talk about one area that I am very concerned about. That is the front court. You talked about Drew Timmy and Chet Holmgren. How does BYU match up there? Because certainly against St. Mary's, it's one thing when, when Foose almost has a double-double and Atiki Ali Atiki has a couple of blocks and played really nice defense. They're going to have to do that and probably even more against those two in, in the kennel, will they not? For sure. No, they're, I think they're going, to, they're going to have to win the rebounding battle, which they can. Caleb Lohner, Gideon George in there, uh, Atiki Ali Atiki, and, and then Foose. I mean, they have all the physical tools to be able to do it. Um, but, you know, will they? Will they against an experienced Timmy and, you know, Chet Holmgren inside? And, and I mean, they have a bunch of other, you know, big dudes. A Anton Watson, I mean, has been playing really, really well, 6'8". They, they just have a bunch of physical uh, bigs inside. And so um, can, they, can they control the boards? Can they, can they make them uncomfortable on their home floor uh, it, it are some of my biggest questions. This is uh, not just Gonzaga week. It's a, it's a big week because of both games. You're on the road at Gonzaga and then at San Francisco. I mean, these are the teams that you're competing with the top, the WCC. What, in your opinion, is the bigger game? Yeah, I mean, arguably this is the, the, the toughest, you know, road stretch uh, that BYU will have this whole season. You know, if you, if you zoom out, um, you know, I think – this Gonzaga game, you know, it, it'd be unbelievable if they won. It's not the worst thing in the world if they if they drop this one. Um, but it is a huge opportunity, right? Um, you you want to treat every game like it's the most important game. That's their mindset. And they, they're going into this game uh, to win it. And everyone in that locker room believes that they can do it. And so, um, you know, I, I think the biggest game though, if we were to zoom out big picture stuff is this San Francisco game. Um, they're, they're, you know, a top, a top 40 team right now. And so uh, that would be a huge win for them. Um, if they, if they want to get into, uh, you know, uh, Tyler, who's calling you right now? Getting a, I'm, getting, I'm getting a call guys. You can't, I think, um, you can't tell them you're on TV right now and radio. <laughs> Getting a call. I'm a busy man, guys. <laughs> That's busy awesome. man. No, but the biggest game to me is San Francisco, just because of what it could do for uh, the seed that they get uh, in the NCAA tournament. Summer's like, why'd you ignore my FaceTime? <laughs> 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 gotta be ready. Gotta, gotta be, you know, on my toes. Gotta be nimble. You know, that was the equivalent of uh, two early fouls to a key player or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, Tyler, thanks for the insight, man. Uh, let's see if BYU can go up to the kennel and do it. It's done three times already, which is pull off the upset. I'm not going to shave my head if they do it, but it would be fun if they... You know what I'll say, Ty? You know what I'll say? If BYU beats Gonzaga Thursday night, I'll get the Alex Barcelo, like, Little, little 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 buzz, little line buzz. Little step, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, I, hey, yeah, the single I'll, step. I'll do, it, I'll do it with you, You'll Jerem. do it with me? Okay. If they Will go you up do and it? win, yeah, I'm in. Chef saying no. Okay, <laughs> single, sing, if BYU wins at Gonzaga, Tyler and I will do single line step like AB and match it. We'll do it Friday in the show. Come on. I'm gone Friday, actually. Uh, we'll do it Monday. Okay.
Tyler, we appreciate the time, man. Thanks. Hey, thanks, guys. Tyler's in with me. That's great. Well, he's my he's my partner on the <laughs> pregame show. I guess he won't do it, but whatever.